And we've heard from city and county officials that reopening cities too early would risk lives and livelihoods. The UTSA professor behind one of the COVID-19 models in Bear County tells RJ Marquez that removing social distancing measures is a dangerous proposition for our area. While we look forward to restrictions being lifted to our stay home, work safe orders, a UTSA professor responsible for one of the COVID-19 models in Bear County wants us to be cautious. So I recognize the urgency and the need to restart the economy. We have to do it to take care of our people. However, we have to do it in a way that will not create a problem for everybody in a few months or a few weeks. If this pathogen continues to be progressing at the speed with which it has been progressing. Dr. Juan Gutierrez said removing social distancing measures could result in what we're seeing today in other countries that have been hit by a second wave of COVID-19. Japan today offers the start warning of what could happen if we're not careful. They created a lockdown that lasted a few weeks. Today, after restarting, their health system is being crushed. The number of cases in Singapore is skyrocketing. They went from 1,000 to 6,000 last week. Gutierrez's latest model show that if social distancing is eliminated in Bear County, we could reach 920,000 total cases and it could overwhelm our health system. The models change every day and look at a variety of scenarios. For example, a 50% increase in mobility would grow the number of overall cases to 7,800. The mobility number means the halfway point between now and life as it was just two months ago. Here is the risk. The pathogen continues its relentless march towards, toward infecting everybody. Our health system could be clogged very quickly. San Antonio and Bear County have remained ahead of the curve compared to other major cities, but Gutierrez says reopening schools and businesses will have to be done in a smart way. Until we have understanding of who is immune, how many people have been infected, we have to play it safe until we have a vaccine. Even with a potential vaccine, how the virus has spread is expected to change our way of life for years. We have never seen a pathogen advancing so fast. This is new to all of us. COVID will keep coming. We just have to be prepared to deal with it in a way that doesn't hurt the most vulnerable population. For The Nine, RJ Marquez.